Hello Gaudi class and welcome to this week's PHSE lesson. We're going to look at the difference between secrets and nice surprises and the only thing you're going to need for this lesson is a partner. So again this can be a grown-up. Today I have two shader turtles as my partner. So I have an envelope and in this envelope I have a surprise for you. I want you to just think about how are you feeling about this surprise? Are you excited? Are you a little bit worried that I'm going to give you more work to do? So how do you feel about this envelope? What do you think might be in it? <gasps> Let's have a look. Da, da, da. Oh, there's nothing in it. How are you feeling now? Disappointed? Angry? Annoyed? Frustrated? Let's have another look just to check. Oh, silly me. There's the surprise. How do you feel now that you know what it is? Relieved it's not more work. Mrs. Jellaf said, Mrs. Cabella, what is that picture? It's me. It's a picture of me. I thought that was obvious with my curly hair. So how do you feel now that you know what the surprise is? Are you relieved? How do you think you would have felt if you already knew what was inside that envelope before I showed you? Wouldn't have been much of a surprise. Can you think of a time where you've been given a surprise? Might have been a present that was all wrapped up and you didn't know what was inside it. Or maybe you've had a surprise for someone else. So you've wrapped something or made something for mum and you wanted to give it to her and you're all excited before she sees it. Those are seek, uh, surprises, things that we have, that we want to share with someone else when the time is right. So we might not share it with them straight away because it's not their birthday that day. We might have to keep it as a surprise for a few days until the time is right to share it. But then we share it with everybody. Have you ever kept a secret? Sometimes we get confused between secrets and surprises. So a surprise, we don't tell anyone for a while, but eventually everyone will find out. So it could be like a present that we've got and we've kept or that we get given. A secret is slightly different. A secret is often something bad that we don't want people to find out about. It might be something we've done wrong and we know other people will be upset or cross with us when they find out. So keeping a secret doesn't make us feel happy or excited. So when we thought about the envelope and what was, might be in it, we were excited about this. Keeping a secret doesn't make us feel that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some situations and we're going to decide whether they're secrets or surprises. So remember that a secret is something that doesn't make us feel good inside. And a surprise is something that is, it's a secret for a little time. So we hold on to it. We don't tell anybody, but we know that we're going to, when we do tell, people are going to be happy about it. So here's the first situation. Aman's dad is planning a birthday party for, um, um, oh, I should say for Aman's mum, sorry, and has told Aman that he mustn't tell anyone about it. So he's planned a birthday party for Aman's mum and has told Aman he mustn't tell anyone about it. Is that a surprise? Are people going to be happy when they find out? Or is that a secret? Something that makes him feel bad inside? Let me turn to your partner. Do you think it's a surprise or a secret? Mm, me too. I think this one is a surprise because I think that when Aman's mum finds out, she's going to be happy. And it's probably making Aman feel very excited inside thinking about that. So it is a surprise. Let's have another one. I am in your way. George hears his big sister on the phone making plans to go out. George knows that his mum and dad have told her she's not allowed out. She tells George not to tell them. Is that a surprise or is that a secret? 
is that something that somebody everyone's going to find out about eventually and they're going to be happy or is that something that's going to make George feel sad inside that he knows I think so too I think this one is a secret because George isn't going to be very happy inside knowing that because really what he should do is tell his mum and dad and if he does that his sister's going to get in trouble so George is probably he's going to get in trouble with his sister if he tells it's probably not making him feel very happy inside. Right, next one. Ryan sees his friend Alina knock over and smash a vase. Alina tells Ryan not to tell anyone. Is that a surprise? Is that something good that's going to happen? Or a secret, something that's going to make him Ryan feel bad inside? You're quite right, it is a secret. It's something that Ryan making Ryan feel bad inside. Next one. Zane has made a card for his grandma. His mum and his sister want to see it, but he is keeping it hidden. So is that a surprise or a secret? Is this making Zane feel bad inside or is this making Zane feel excited and everybody's going to know about it and be happy? It is, isn't it? It's a surprise because it's going to, it's going to make everybody feel happy when they see it. Okay, Rudy's mum and dad have planned a holiday for the family, but they won't tell Rudy where they're going. So is this a surprise? Is Rudy feeling excited or is this a secret? Is Rudy feeling sad and hurt inside? It is a su surprise, isn't it? Although that must be very big a surprise to find out where you're going. Because I wonder if, if when he finds out, he's going to be as excited as his mum and dad think he is. So turn to your partner. What is the difference between a surprise and a secret? So a surprise is something that you know about and you don't tell. But when you do tell, everyone is going to be happy. And a secret is something that you know that you don't tell that's making you feel bad inside. So when you're hiding a surprise, you're excited and you can't wait to tell. When you're hiding a secret, you want to tell and it makes you feel bad inside. So today's lesson isn't any writing. It's a very thinking, a very thinking, this is Cabela speak English. It's a very thoughtful one. What should you do if you're told a secret to keep a secret? Not a surprise, because if you're told to keep a surprise, it's normally exciting and you're told why you need to keep it a surprise. And eventually everyone's going to find out and be very excited. But if you're told to keep a secret, so if you're like George and you hear her, your sister on the phone and she tells you not to tell, or you watch your friend, if you're Ryan and you watch your friend knock over the vase and they say, don't tell, but it makes you feel bad inside. What should you do if you're told a secret? So the answer is you tell an adult that you trust. So when we've been talking about your superhero and talking about things that make you feel bad, you always tell an adult that you can trust. Tell someone that you know will listen to you because it is really not good to have bad feelings inside and you always need to talk to an adult when you've got bad feeding feelings inside. Now you might be very lucky and have a big brother or sister you can talk to. You might have your mum or your dad or grandparent. It might be somebody that's always in your house with you. So never, ever, ever let bad feelings be inside you. Make sure that you talk to an adult that you can trust and tell them what's making you upset. So your job today, your task, when your adult's free to talk, and it might be that your adult is busy now and that you have to wait. They might be helping a brother or sister with their lessons. They might be doing some of their own work. So please don't go and annoy them and go, I have to talk to you. I have to talk to you. Wait until they're free. So it might be maybe this evening when you're having your supper. But when they are free, tell them what you learned today. So tell them the difference between a surprise and a secret and what you would do if you ever knew a secret. And I will see you for the next lesson.